Hello trombones. Here is the written out version of exercise number 18. This is the exercise that we're going to do for the practice check next, the progress check next week, excuse me. Uh, and I've written down here to show you a couple little things with it. First, remember, there's three different notes that we need to learn. The B flat, which is the little B symbol before it, that is on the second line. So every time it's, you have a note on the second line, whether it's a half note or a quarter note, it's a B flat. C, which is on the second space, and D, which is on the third line. Those are the only three notes that you need to know for this. In one second, I'm going to have uh, visual examples of where you put your slide for each of these notes. Just take a second and look at this. You should have it in your book. You should write in note names if you need. You should write in slide positions if you need. Whatever, it is go uh, whatever will make it easier for you to practice this. I just have this as a reference for you so you can check your work if you need to. So now, with the trombone, we need to know which slide position goes with each note. So use your book to help you with this, because your book has a fingering chart and a breakdown of exactly how this works. But to review, B flat is in first position. The slide is all the way in for first position. You don't need to move it at all. It just stays right here. C. This one is the, the trickiest one of the three notes that we have to learn. C is in position number six. Now, for some of you who might be taller than others, sixth position will be easier to reach or harder to reach, depending just on your physical size. Doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but just target sixth position being almost as far as you can reach. There's a visual breakdown in your book in the back uh, inside the back cover telling you exactly where your slide position should be. I have mentioned that in another video as well about finger charts. But here's your C. I went slightly too far out, but I fixed it. So that was your C. And then D is in fourth position, which is right here, where these little notches, where it goes from silver to brass, they line up with the bell of the instrument right there. That's fourth position, and your D. Now practice this. This takes some coordination because you have to get used to moving the slide and knowing exactly where your slide is supposed to go without having any type of marking on your slide or number on the slide that tells you that you're right. So practice saying the note names and moving the slide to the correct position. I'll demonstrate. I'm going to do the first couple measures of exercise number 18, and I'm just going to say the note name out loud, and I'm going to move the slide to where it's supposed to go. B flat, B flat, C, D, D, C, B flat, C, D, B flat, B flat. <clears throat> so, Check yourself as you do it. Make sure you're going out to the correct position for each one. Do it as slow as you need the first few times that you practice it to make sure that you're doing it right. I'd rather you do it at a really slow tempo accurately than at a crazy fast tempo where it's too fast for you to move your slide properly. Now I'm going to play the exercise for you so you have an audio recording to practice along with for the progress check next week. So, as you can see, the key is to learn to move your slide fast. That's why I'm not concerned about the tempo right now. I know it takes a little bit of time to develop that coordination and that muscle memory. But just practice moving your slide as quickly as you can back and forth from each note and practice doing it with the rhythm of the piece. If you have questions, concerns, come to Extra Help. Send me emails, send, uh, post comments on Google Classroom, whatever you need to do to get in touch with me so I can best answer your questions before the progress check next week. Thank you. Happy practicing.